uh, a simple example with there are four transactions let's see on 1st january purchased from ram 200 pins of oil at the rate of 150 per pin less 20 percent trade discount what is this trade discount when we buy from a supplier it is possible that the supplier for the bulk that we are buying offers us a trade discount that is the price that is being quoted is 150 maybe that is the catalog price that is the price which he quotes initially but he gives us a 20 percent discount so basically we buy this good for 150 less 20 percent that is for 120 rupees <clears throat> 120 rupees per we do not record this trade discount in our books because it is not any discount received. The initial transaction that we are entering into is at 150 less 20%. A cash discount on the other hand is different. Once we effect, once we buy this good for let us say 120, it is possible that the supplier says, if you make payment within a week, I will give you another 5% discount. But if you are going to make this payment only after 3 months, then I cannot give you this discount. That cash discount is separately recorded in the books, but not, not trade discount. Trade discount does not find any place in the books of account. So how do we record this? Roughly, we say, we put the date here, 1st January, we write the particulars, particulars is basically from RAM, purchase from RAM. What are we doing? This is the name of the person. Then we write 200 tins of oil. At what price? We could write here 30,000 less trade discount of 20% there could be other details and then we get 24,000 on 8th Jan we may purchase again we write the name of the person Shakti here what are the details 100 tens at the rate of 100 per day. that is 10,000 less trade discount again of 20% and we are talking of 8,000 purchase from Shakti 150 tin of oil at the rate of rupees 100 per tin less 20% trade discount in cash in cash this will go to cash book. It will not find a place in the purchase day book because in the purchase day book, we will record only credit purchase of goods. On 20th Jan, we have purchased from Hari 50 tins of oil at the rate of 200 per tin, less 20%. Again, so we have Hari purchases what? 50 tins at the rate of 200 per tin. Ten thousand less trade discount twenty percent two thousand eight thousand. If you total this, assuming there were no other transactions during that month, we will get forty thousand. How do we post this? Once this is prepared, this is a book of original entry. All credit purchase of goods is first recorded in this book. So this is your journal. This is your purchase journal. Now from this purchase journal, transactions have to be posted into the ledger. Posted into the ledger. So how is that done? That is done individually taking the supplier's account. So we will find a RAM's account in the ledger remember ledger has a debit and a credit side i'm doing this in rough we will look at a fair presentation 
from his account we credit this and write it is on purchase and from the purchase day book when we post we always post to the credit of the supplier's account credit of the supplier's account by purchase we say 24000 similarly we open shakti's account and say by purchase on the credit side an amount of 8000 and again hari account we say by purchases 8000 so we've got the credit posted how is it posted individually to the credit of the supplier's account individually to the credit of the supplier's account next we open the purchases account in the ledger posting debit and credit and what do we post here total this total 40000 we write here to sundries as per purchase journal let us say 40000 so 40000 there is a debit 8000 credit 8000 credit 24000 this is how posting is done from the purchase journal to the ledger accounts let us just look at a neater presentation we have rams account here by purchase account 24000 this folio which is there is the purchase journal folio number so i know from where we have brought this transaction because when the trial balance does not tally we might have to go through many of these entries similarly shakti's account here also it will have pj maybe this was one maybe it was the same first page of the journal whatever hari's account again by purchases is a reference here pj one mm. next purchase account there was a cash purchase on 15th jan that has been posted here from the cash book 12000 and on 31st jan two sundries as per purchase day book we have 40000 therefore total purchases is 52000 for that month but from the journal we've got 24 8 and 8 this is again two sundries will be from the purchase journal maybe pj1 and this may be from the cash book posting this is how the cross referencing is also it so please note what is a purchase day book or a purchase journal all credit purchases of goods and goods only is first recorded in the purchase day book it does not have a debit or a credit column how is posting done from here individual periodically a total of the purchases is made the total of this purchases is posted to the posted to the debit of the purchase account it's posted to the debit of the purchase account to sundries as per purchase day and individually each of the supplier's account is posted credit side by purchases and we put the amount against the credit this way some amount of the duplication of posting is avoided because purchase we might have 150 purchases in a month the entire total purchases is posted at one go we do not post it in the purchase account 150 times so to that extent some time is saved and it is a more efficient process besides of course all credit purchases we can refer to from the purchase day. 